I'm sure everybody would like to join me in wishing Peter all our love and loads of best wishes as he starts his new life with Terry and Jill. Oh, you want me to cut it? I've never had a good luck on your new life cake before. I quite like to keep it, you know, sort of as it is. Oh, go on, Peter. Have a slice. I made it special. <laughs> Okay, champ. Oh, you're taking a photograph of your old bedroom with you. Oh, no. This isn't my bedroom here. This is my new bedroom at Jim and Terry's house. But it's just like my old room. Duke helped me move in. Look. I put the bed, the chest, plus all my stuff in exactly the same place as it was here. <laughs> now, when I move, it won't feel like anything has changed. <laughs> <laughs> Of garlic. Full moon, isn't it? Garlic is the most proven way of seeing off vampire attack. Look, this is Marlon too, and it smells like a kebab shop. It's all in here. There are strange things that move about in the night. Things we mortal men may not know what of. Look, that's it. I'm moving out. No, not what of that, mate. Um, you didn't need to give me a going away present. How's it? Come up with the Ooh, What are you going to do with those? What? These are beautiful, giant African land snails. That one's Speedy and that one's Gonzales. Where are they from? Class 6, worth a fortune. In special daily care. And I'm looking after them for the whole weekend. But we're not allowed to have pets here, Tracy. Everyone else gets a chance to look after them. How unfair is that? Why should kids with parents get all the snails all the time? Yeah, the party's jumping here, CJ. Most exciting bit so far was watching Zach peel marzipan off his cake. Yeah, I'm right for tonight. Yeah, it'd be nice to go to a real party after this effort. 10.30 curfew, CJ. Not a moment longer. All right. Because I'm leaving, would it be like you losing a friend? I don't see it so much as losing a friend as gaining a couple of snails. People at my party will be wondering where I am. When I walk out of there, I'm going to have a serious party. I'll invite everyone I know, and they'll all say it was the best party ever. There will be loads of going away presents, and then my mum will whisk me off to Hollywood and take me to all the Oscar parties with her. See you later. Bye. Uh, well, bye then. Yeah, bye, Peter. It's dusty in here. Maybe my hate will come back. On their way. I'm sorry I couldn't help you. I've still got a stack of work to finish before I go home. No worries. I've got it all under control. There are unexplainable phenomena. Things that do move about in the night. Yeah, and I'm one of them. Right. You in, kids? Meet my new roommate. I've bought you biscuits, bubble gum, fizzy ones, anything else you'd need? Right. I'll be in his room. Fine. 
I'll be in the top bunk tonight, I think. If you'd just like to plump up my pillows, Maxi, and then you can retire. No problem, sir. Because I'm leaving, will it be like you're losing a friend? Peter, I've had this great idea. You could come back and we could run the best circus ever. Everyone would come and see it, and your trick would be the top attraction ever. So I came back. How did you get in here? The window in the dust is blue. Start there, that means something's finished here. Hmm. Wasn't this thing supposed to be on the top of the tank? Oh no, Speed and Gonzalez! They're gone! I promised on my life to look after them. What are the kids gonna say at school? Have you any idea how much a giant snail costs? Come on, you've gotta help me find them. Here before Adele comes back from the bathroom. I'm not going anywhere. Everything's wrong. Look, Peter, I know you're having a tough day, but help me find the stupid snails, and I'll help you find your way home, yeah? I don't have a home here or at Terry and Jill's. I'm staying right here. Oh, you can't stay inside a wardrobe. Why not? <laughs> that doesn't sound human. Ryan? Gone. I've forgotten. Exoplasm. Proof of life from another world. Ryan! 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 You're right, there's no such thing as vampires or slimy speaks from beyond the grave. So why don't I just get rid of all this garlic and stuff and you can move back in, yeah? Well, I don't know. I like it in here. It's 
Quiet. Ryan, please, come back. Two things. I'll get the top bunk back. And you buy air freshener, family size, first thing tomorrow. Deal? You can't stay in a wardrobe forever. I could. Look at Speedy. If you can't stay in a shell all your life, you've got to stick your neck out. Have a look around. Do something new. You said the snails came from Africa, right? So maybe they ran away today because they really wanted to go home, where they feel safe. Yeah. And maybe they've got all they need with them on their backs. They take their home, friendships, memories with them, so maybe it doesn't matter where they go. Listen to me. What am I, a social worker? I sound like a the pain. She's gonna find the snails. She's gonna scream the players down and we're gonna get caught. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll admit this is a little unusual, but there's absolutely no need for us to bring in adults at this junction, is there? Okay? Tracy, you are so up to something. But you saved my bacon downstairs, so let's call it quits. Thanks, I really appreciate that. You know, better be going. Ah! Ah! I've been slimed! Where did he come from? Speedy! Maxie? Zach? Ryan? What is this? Musical rooms? Adele? Are we going out somewhere? Hmm? Tracy? Peter? Peter, what are you doing here? Right, I want you all to go back to your rooms. Your own rooms would be nice. Peter, maybe you and I and Mike should go downstairs. I'll make us a hot chocolate and we can have a good old chat. I know. You're going to persuade me to go back to Terry and Jill's. You, know, you really ought to think about it, champ. I know. I'll go back. You will? Tracy was talking to me. She convinced me to go back. Wow, well done, Tracy. Tracy Beaker. I thought you liked emotional reunions. 